Hello there, welcome to my second ever video here on YouTube. I'm Dan, the gaming man, and today I thought it'd be fun to take a look at Fanatical. Fanatical.com is very similar to Humble Bundle, so if you enjoy uh, getting bundles of games for a cheap price, it's definitely worth checking out. As you can see on the homepage, they've got lots of featured deals as well, lots of interesting things like the new Hogwarts game, but also they have the bundles and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So as you can see, they have lots of different bundles and it works a little bit differently to Humble Bundle where you would pay a small fee and, and get a, a bundle of uh, games that have already been chosen uh, by the website. Now this one, you can actually build your own bundles. So for example, if we look here at the Bethesda build your own bundle, uh, you can choose from three, five or seven depending on how much you want to spend and how many of these games you're interested in, I suppose. So if we have a look at these, we can see that they have quite a good selection of the classic Bethesda games. You've got Doom 64, you've got Fallout, the original version of it. We've got Dishonored, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Quake Arena, and so on. And what you do is you just add the ones that you want and when you get your three your five or your seven you go to the checkout and pay so that's good fun but what i want to look at today and the reason i'm doing it with the the camera so you get a a face reveal after only two videos and 12 subscribers thank you to those who subscribed so far by the way uh what we're going to be looking at is the mystery bundles. I've got a friend who's just got a Steam Deck and he's getting really into collecting games. And he asked me, are these mystery bundles any good? So that's what we're going to look at today is the mystery bundle. Uh, this is a birthday one. So they're having an anniversary at the moment. And because of that, they're doing a birthday mystery bundle. So we're going to buy one we're going to have a look at the 20 mystery keys that were given they're always steam keys by the way and we're going to find out if it's, is it any good they said somewhere in the blurb here at the bottom that there are some triple a games nestled so we'll see if we get lucky and get some triple a games so let's open it <laughs> let's buy some open them and we'll have a quick look through each one and see if we get any gems and if i get any duplicates which it says i won't because it says no duplicate games guaranteed but if i do get any duplicates then i will be giving them away to viewers as i mentioned i'm going to do the video so you can see my actual reaction you can see um, how i feel about each game i suppose a bit better than doing a voiceover on this occasion so let's have some fun with it shall we so upon getting it to the payment screen it says that i have qualified for a promotion a birthday sale mystery gift now i do wonder if that means that they're going to give me 10 percent off something or a voucher to spend to buy some more games but we'll see there's also an option at the top here to get two mystery windows pc games on steam for 189 so you can add that if you want to but we're going to stick with the birthday mystery bundle we're going to get 20 keys and we're going to see exactly what we get for our money. So I'll proceed and make the payment and I'll be back in a moment and we can start looking at what we've got. Okay, so upon purchasing, you'll get this little note that says, thank you for your order. Your order is complete. And then you can click on here to view order and see your keys. So it's a lot of fun because what you can see here is it's got the big question mark. We don't know what we've got. It's not all revealed. You get the fun of opening one at a time. That's what we're going to do together right now. So we're going to reveal the mystery game by clicking here and we'll see what it is. And you're going to see my reaction to it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Okay, so the first one. A Stronghold Crusader HD. Hmm. So you can click on here. You get to see the Steam rating. It's got four and a half stars based on 22 user ratings. It also tells you whether it's Steam Deck playable for those who have Steam Deck. Uh, we've got a video and stuff like that. Uh, you can also go through to Steam and take a look at it. 
Okay, so this is Stronghold Crusader. This is our first game. It, it looks a bit like Age of Empires, if you ever played those old games. And you can see it's from 2002, so it's quite an old game. But it looks okay. I mean, this this could be a lot of fun if, you, if you're into these kind of strategy games. Uh, it's worth £7.49, so already you can see we spent £13 something. And already, if we get another game of similar value to this, we have done all right i think <laughs> we've kind of made our money back i suppose so our second game let's have a look see what we've got the signal from tovlet again not a game that i'm i've heard of i i don't know this one it's got a three out of five star rating 75 on open critic it's steam deck playable it sounds like it's uh some kind of sci-fi shooter so yeah, right away you can see that the mystery bundle is value for money. For example, if you were into this kind of game, which is a shooter, it's from 2017. It's a pretty new game, really, certainly compared to the first game that we got. Mostly positive from 747 reviews, and it's 14.99. So right away, we saved about a pound on this game. So. Is it worth it? Is the Fanatical Mystery Bundle worth it? This probably proves it, doesn't it? I don't know what we're going to get next, but already, if this game was something that you'd be interested in, then you basically cash back, isn't it? It's fantastic. So, yeah, let's keep going. Let's have a look what we've got here. Bots are stupid. Well, it's an interesting sounding game. Let's have a look at what it's about. So it's a 2D platformer by the look of it, and it looks all right. Yeah, quite simple. I mean, it's worth £10.99, so, you know, not not bad. I don't know if I'd pay... Would you pay £10 for a game that looks like this? I wouldn't, but obviously some people are. And it's got 66 reviews. Overall, it's very positive. So, So now let's look at our fourth game. Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark. Again, it looks like a fantasy. So it's an RPG, strategy, tactical, turn-based. It's got 82 on Metacritic and it's got four and a half stars, although there's only 12 user ratings and it's a Steam Deck verified, so a nice big green tick. So that one could be interesting, perhaps. And if you've seen my first video where I actually talked about War Tales, this game might be quite similar. So we'll have a look on Steam and check out what it looks like. Well, this one looks really interesting. It's worth $24.99. It's got a very interesting art style. And you can see this would probably be a lot of fun, especially if you are into turn-based combat RPGs. It's quite different to War Tales, but it could be a lot of fun. But it's a bargain, isn't it? $24.99 this game's worth. We've paid $13.49 for the bundle. Absolute bargain. So game five, let's have a look. What do we got? My Summer Adventure. This one's six pound sixty nine. Moving on, number six, the Smurfs Mission Relief. I'm not sure what that means, but perhaps if you're a Smurfs fan, that will mean something to you. But it's a 3D platformer. It's only got four user ratings. It's got a four star though, and it is Steam Deck verified. So that could be an interesting one to play. So as you can see, this one is a 3D platformer. Seems look a bit like something like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro the Dragon. Could be quite good, perhaps. It's worth $15.99, so again, it's got a higher value than the bundle. So if you were into the Smurfs and you got this from your mystery bundle, it's a bargain, isn't it? So I don't believe we've got any AAA games yet, but maybe game seven. Lucky number seven. Here we go. Let's see. Hello Neighbor. Well, I've heard of this game. I've never played it, but... It's uh, supposed to be good. I think it's a survival game. I believe you're breaking into his house or something. 
survival horror. Ooh, yes. Well, it's the first game I've heard of on the list. And so that's an interesting one. Um, I'd maybe give it a go. This is obviously a fairly famous game. Uh, it's got very positive reviews. Uh, it's almost six years old at the time of recording this. Let's see how much it's worth though. $24.99. Again, if you were happy with having this in your bundle, then it's paid for itself, hasn't it? Number eight. Yono and the Celestial Elephants. It's a cute adventure. <laughs> so there you go, that's all I know. I haven't got much else to say about it. So let's take a look on Steam and see if we can learn anything more about this game. Oh, this one's definitely cute. They were right. It, oh, look at it, it's adorable, it's a little elephant. Oh, yeah, this one could be quite fun. So, 11.39, again, pretty pretty decent one to have in the bundle, I think. For anybody that's got kids, perhaps this could be a lot of fun as well. Okay, let's look at number nine. Crown Champion, Legends of the Arena. Now, this one sounds quite interesting. Um, I'm not really... I'm not really excited by this image, but maybe if we go over to Steam and take a look, it's, you know, maybe it's a hidden gem. Crown Champion Legends of the Arena. This is not what I was expecting. It looks like an old RPG game and it looks all right. It might be a bit of fun. Uh, it's got very positive reviews of 174. It was released in 2016. It's worth £4.29. So yeah. Bit of fun, just something to have in the bundle, isn't it? Number 10. Let's have a look what we get. Superstar Path. Superstar Path. Five user ratings, four and a half star. Looks interesting. We'll have a look at Steam and see what this game's all about. You can see it looks a bit like a, I don't know, a vertical shooter. It's perhaps a, yeah. It's a vertical shooter. Just these emeralds thrown me off. I, I thought it might be some kind of puzzle game. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a vertical shooter. Yeah. Oh, it says, classic colour match puzzle meets space shoot em up. There you go. £4.99. Again, nice fun game to have to kill some hours or possibly minutes. So we're now halfway through our list. We've had 10 games. We've not found any AAA games. Hello Neighbour probably the most famous of the games that we've seen so far. Let's keep looking. Let's see if we can find a real gem. Number 11. Elven Legacy. Seems to be getting a lot of fantasy games, don't we? And uh, yeah, this one, again, not heard of it. It's a collection. So let's go and have a look at Steam. So this game's from 2009. Again, not really what I was expecting. I don't really know what I was expecting. It looks a bit like Dragon Age or something, doesn't it? It's, yeah, it doesn't look great, to be perfectly honest. £4.29, though. So, yeah. At number 12. Fallout New Vegas, absolute classic. I've actually got a couple of copies of it behind me on the shelf. And I do own this one, although I don't have it on Steam. And I've never got it on Fanatical before. So this is one that I'll give away. I think how I'm going to do this is if you leave a comment below, tell me which of these games you find most interesting. I'll pick somebody at random and send you the code for this. It's on Steam, so it'll be a Steam key. You put the Steam key into your Steam account and you'll get the game. Great. Is it a AAA game though? Fallout New Vegas? It probably was at the time it came out, <laughs> but probably not anymore. I don't know. It's absolute classic. One of my favorite games of all time. It's only $8.99 now, but it's a great one to have in the collection if you haven't already got it. So having this in a bundle would would be a win, in my opinion. So we're up to number 13. This is the unlucky number, isn't it? So let's see if we're unlucky with our next pick. Outbuddies DX, seven user ratings, four star, it's Steam Deck verified, and it's a Metroidvania. It's a little bit different to the other games that we've received so far. So you can certainly see there's lots of variety if you buy one of these bundles. You're going to get lots of games. It's probably a good thing to, to do if you've just bought a Steam Deck or perhaps a gaming laptop and you want to just get a load of games for cheap 
this might be the way of doing it. Lots of variety so far. Wow, looks like a lot of fun this one. It's really colourful. It <laughs> really reminds me of the old SNES and Mega Drive games that we would have played as a kid. Uh, it's only worth, uh, well, it's on a sale at the moment, so it's $1.49, but usually it goes for $14.99. Uh, it's an indie Metroidvania. It's got mixed reviews, but it could be fun. Why not? Okay, number 14. Toy Tinker Simulator. Okay, this one looks interesting. It looks a bit like House Flipper. You know, that game with the uh, the logo looks very similar, so it might be from the same developers. We'll check Steam and find out if that's the case. But it's not got the best ratings, three stars from nine user ratings. Uh, but it looks like it could be quite interesting. If you're into those kind of simulation games, it could be quite relaxing and cute, as it says here on the screen. Look at that, you can make toys and that. Uh, 2021, it came out. I can't see it bundled with House Flipper, so either it is from the same publisher or somebody has been inspired quite heavily by that game. Number 15. 15 is my lucky number, so I'm hoping that this one will be something special. Pushover. I have nothing to say about this one. I don't know anything about it, so we're going to have to go to Steam and check it out. Pushover. Again, doesn't look like very appealing to me. It, it, it has a, a very kind of 16-bit era art style. 749. It's just not something that I would ever pick up. So getting it in a bundle, you know. Could be a hidden gem, maybe, to try out. G-I-Ant. Giant. Clever, in it? So we've got five games left. Let's have a look at number 16. There must be some more gems in here. We've had Hello Neighbor and Fallout New Vegas are probably the highlights so far, in my opinion. There must be another one or two games that are going to blow my mind. Let's see. Silver Chains. Uh, it's a horror game. I'm not really into horror games. I, I I did play Resident Evil, you know, back in the 90s when it first came out. And I think that kind of put me off horror games. So I'm not really into it. So this might be another one that I give away. Let's have a quick look on Steam and see what it's all about. Silver Chains. This is the first image. It looks truly horrifying. This, oh is not a game that I would play. No way. It's worth $19.99. If this is something that you'd be interested in playing, write a comment below and uh, maybe, maybe I'll send you the Steam key. So next is number 17. Sentience, the Android's Tale. Again, don't know what to expect, not sure it's going to be something to do with um, mobile phones, maybe. It looks quite interesting. It, it's like an old RPG, but it's obviously set in a dystopian future or something like that. It was released in 2017. It's worth £4.29. It's something that I'd check out. It looks all right. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. That's what I mean. Sometimes with these bundles, you get a game, it looks like it's not very interesting, but when you open it up on Steam, it, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, why not? Number 18, let's have a look. White Knight, looks like another survival horror game. Okay, I was saying before, there's a lot of variety. So for someone like me, who's not into survival horror, uh, this has not been a great bundle, to be honest. This is another game that I will be giving away. This is White Knight. Again, it looks quite creepy. Uh, not as scary as the, the one that we saw before. Was it Silver Chains? But it, yeah, it's, it's still not something that I would probably want to play, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's worth eleven thirty nine, so a little bit below what we paid for the bundle. But it looks okay. 
If you're into survival horror, I'm sure you'd get a kick out of this one. 19, just two left. Eternal Edge Plus. It looks a bit like uh, Final Fantasy or something, doesn't it? It says it's an action RPG. So let's have a look over on Steam and see what it's about. Eternal Edge Plus. I said it looked a bit like Final Fantasy. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, it, it, it looks a lot like uh, Final Fantasy or Zelda or something. Uh, yeah, they definitely know what they're doing there, don't they? It was released last year. Uh, it's worth eleven thirty nine. Hopefully they haven't been sued <laughs> for, <laughs> for basically uh, ripping off a couple of more famous games. And here we are, we're at the final mystery game. Let's open number 20. I'm still hoping for a AAA game. I'm hoping for something great. My ideal game will be something that I can sink 60 plus hours into. Let's see what this one is. Inner World. The Inner World. Yeah, I, I, I've, I have played this game before. So that's four, four games that I'm going to be giving away to commenters on this video. And... Yeah, it's it's all right. It's quite quirky. It's a point and click adventure. So we'll have a quick look at Steam and see if there's anything interesting to, to say about it. The Inner World, it's got a really good art style. It's a fantastic point and click adventure. As I said, I have played it before. Uh, right now it's on sale. It's 143 on Steam at the time of making this video. It's usually worth 11.99. Again, a pretty good game to have in the bundle and I will be giving this one away, as I mentioned, so comment below and I might send you a nice Steam key. Okay, so you might remember at the beginning of the video when we were purchasing our mystery bundle, it did say that we would get a gift box so for free. So let's have a look what that was. Reventure. There you go, and you get a key. So a free game, basically. So final thoughts. I think the Fanatical Mystery Bundle is good for people who have just bought a gaming laptop, as I've already mentioned, or a Steam Deck. And if you want to build up a collection, it's a good way to go. We paid £13.49, and we got a couple of good games in there that were worth a little bit more than that. So there is the potential to get a game that you're going to enjoy but as we saw there's a few games in there that aren't very good so is it worth it it's for you to decide but hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you have ever wondered what is in a fanatical mystery bundle i think we've answered that today haven't we certainly it should give you an idea of what to expect if you decide to hand over your hard-earned cash to fanatical thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I've got lots of video ideas, so there's lots more content coming up. Stay safe and keep gaming.